let go. Day one on the Hadrian's Wall path. Just left um, Solway, where the path starts, as you'll see. We are heading towards Port Carlisle now. Uh, I headed up yesterday, um, trying to link buses up, and the first bus was late, which meant I missed my second bus to get up here. So started walking up from Carlisle and ended up getting a lift, staying in the bar for. A, couple too many and ended up sleeping in the little uh, the hut where we started there no not recommend that anyone shouldn't do it but it was a crack and sleep <laughs> sleeping pad on the bench and a uh, sleeping bag perfect nice um, nice warm night so no disruptions at all woken up this morning by a rooster Got another 20 minutes sleep after that before a Rottweiler came and uh, had a sniff on my face, <laughs> which was a shock to wake up to. So, um, but yeah, cup of tea and off we go. So, need to find some water, get a shop or somewhere to get some water and then uh, be on the way properly. Hoping to do this in three days. Um, or less, I've got to get back to work, so it's got to be less. Um, yeah, 84 miles all together, and we're just, I'm going to try and keep it a nice and steady pace, not go off too fast, and burn my legs out, and uh, see how far we get, hopefully, all the way to Wall's End. We'll see you along the way. This is bliss, this mine. Still early doors, and there's just no one around. Only been a couple of cars gone past. Birds chirping away. Just beautiful views. Don't get many mornings like this. So I uh, gotta really enjoy them when they're here. Funky looking sheep. Yeah, they're fine. 
So I managed to get some water from that little honesty box here in, uh, in that village, which I can't remember the name of that village, but I'll write on the screen now if anyone uh, for reference. And uh, now I'm still just a, a few mile outside of Carlisle. So I'm just gonna go get some food. I'm gonna sit down, take my socks and shoes off, rest my feet for a little bit, maybe give myself half an hour to an hour. And uh, yeah, just let my feet breathe a bit before getting back on the trail. Oh, look, a squirrel. Are you coming with me, son? Eh? Yeah? <laughs> That's been a hard morning. Um feeling a little bit hungover um, so that hasn't helped really dehydrated uh, but I'm gonna have a half an hour to an hour sitting here chilling out before I get cracking again and enjoy this kind of iron brew to try and perk me up a bit That's it, getting across the M6 in under seven hours, and that was with an hour's break as well, so happy days. Um, yeah, so we're going down into this next village now, and hopefully going to find some water, because fully out at the moment, I need some. <laughs> what a beautiful little spot this is. Yeah. Don't know where I am. <laughs> because I haven't been paying attention. The last place I went to, I um, there was no shops or anything, so I couldn't fill up my water. So on to Corby, and hopefully there's going to be somewhere there where I can fill up and uh, even get some more water. But yeah, just enjoying the peace and quiet along here while it's here because back in Carlisle it's uh today is King Charles's whatever um yeah so it was chocker there and then crossing the M6 so loud which I just want to be here listening to this listening to next to nothing just bird song and the current of the of the river that'll do me I managed to get my water filled up. <laughs> Way here. Uh, Low Crosby, not Corby. Um, I think it is anyway. I'm doubting myself now. <laughs> um, yeah, the, no shops there. But there was a pub. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Didn't even look, to be honest. Uh, went in, got a drink, and the gentleman behind the bar was lovely enough to fill these two water bottles up. So there should be another... Um, spot within the next seven or eight miles to get more water so yeah this will do me till then
got to say I'm really enjoying this. Just over 24 mile. And uh, yeah, it's, we're in the struggle now. It's getting hard. Um, just got to break through this next couple of mile. Get the second wind and push on. But um, yeah, really enjoying this walk. Looks like we could be in for some rain tonight. Touch wood. I haven't had any rain at all today. So let's hope we miss it tonight. So I'm in uh, Newtown. I've just came across the, the little tuck shop, the honesty box there, and filled my boots. Got some water, got some sweets, got some chocolate. And honestly, you've got no idea how good this tastes. It's amazing. That does not look good, and it is heading this way. So the heavens open, and I mean open, and I just made it to the hate and hate foot. Thankfully. I think I'm just going to sit here, here for a little bit, and have a can of coke, and a cup of tea. <laughs> Finish these crisps and just wait for it to pass. Hopefully, it won't be too long. First genuine bit of wall we've seen. So, um, I'm 33 mile in now. I did kind of look around this sort of area within a couple of miles for, uh, for a camp spot. But, um, well, just seeing them woodlands there, I did pick them out. But my legs are feeling okay. I've had, uh, had my second wind, it's still carrying me forward now. And the rain feels like it's stopping. So I'm going to push on and try and get some miles done tonight. I've only got maybe an hour and a half, two hours of daylight. I haven't been doing much uh, recording for the last uh, hour or two uh, because it's raining. So, um, yeah, I've just been getting my head down and stomping along. So, yeah, I'll try and get more footage in a little bit. Let's go. <laughs> Tonight set up. Right, so that's the end of uh, day one in the hammock. Just started raining again. Good night. See you in the morning.
Good morning. So, what a great camp I had last night. Yeah, um, got the hammock set up and just got into bed. Um, long day walking yesterday, I think I've done 36 mile. So, by the time I got the hammock all set up, I just climbed into bed and slept for six, seven hours, undisturbed. Great sleep. <sighs> Managed to see my feet a bit this morning, got a blister on my left foot. Um, I think that's just because my shoes got wet. But yeah, it's not doing too bad. What a beautiful morning this morning. Like all clagged in, but so peaceful. I've just came through uh, Gilsland there. Obviously nothing, nothing open this time uh, in the morning. So just made my way through. And uh, we'll see how far we get today. This is Thirlwall Castle. If I carried on a bit last night, I could have stopped here. This is where you get long, continuous sections of Adrian's wall. So yeah, heading along now, we should be at Sycamore Gap in a couple hours. So, looking forward to that. But now I'm just gonna take in the wall and enjoy it as I go past. Coming down here, not paying attention. Foot slipped out on this little bit here. Luckily, my bag took um, took the brunt of it. But yeah, pay attention at all times. <laughs> So there we have Sycamore Gap, my favourite part of Adrian's Wall, absolutely love it here. I'm just in the section between Sycamore Gap and House Steads now and it, it's lovely walking along with the wall running all the way along, views everywhere as well, but the up and down is bloody killing me. Right, so the rain last night soaked me kit. My feet are soaking and my feet I've been walking 20 mile with um with soaking wet feet and they're just getting worse. So I've decided to call it a day at House Steads. I'm gonna come back um next month maybe and do house steads towards end. Um 50 mile it's not bad for a day and a half's walk. Um, but yeah, got to leave it here. Listen to your body. Know when to quit. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.